also we have guys who are playing football. We have even uh, actually one who's playing in Turkey, in one of the biggest teams, and she's uh, Kenyan. Yeah, so it just tells you that uh, girls' football, or maybe let me say the girls' game, has a very huge potential if at all things are done right. And uh, our biggest challenge is actually getting them to come on board because when you move around in the neighborhood, they don't want anything to associate with football. So you maybe you find one or two. Because in, in our team, we had like, I think, one girl, but she's gone back to school. So when she's around for the school holidays, when they close school, that's when she comes and trains with the boys. She doesn't mind training the boys. But now you find that how many girls like her can we find? So again, it's a problem that we have back at home. So it's something that, again, we need to talk to the guardians, the parents, and all that, because we need to encourage them to let their ki kids go out and play. Because football is not just about uh, being played by boys and all that. So I think the biggest challenge we have is actually uh, letting uh, the guardians so maybe convincing these girls to come out and play football. But again, we must look at the challenges that the women's, that the women's game are facing, especially uh, at the topest level, you know. Uh, no sponsorship, even though we must uh, congratulate the Federation for at least trying to change things a bit because at, right now at least we are seeing the women's game is being televised. The matches are being every, every week in, week out, but though there are still challenges. So there are a lot of difficulties that they are facing uh, beyond even the football field that needs to be addressed. So we need to put our house in order first so that at least we can encourage more girls to come out and play. Because I feel if we give them a conducive environment whereby they can come out and play, they'll come out in numbers. And I think with the partnership that we have with Maxfly, you know, getting free kits, free equipment, free accessories, will encourage more girls to come out and start playing football. Because one other challenge you need to realize actually, back in the neighborhoods, kids don't even have shoes to play. They don't even have uniforms, you know, to come out and play with. So if we, if we provide for them some of these things for free, why not? They'll come out. Yeah. Oh, also, sorry. There's some um, others. Near your seats, please enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>